This tutorial brought to you by JadedPainting.com Get Jaded! Scallywag! The Necron Cryptech is an essential component of many of the competitive lists out there for the Necron Army. However, as these guys are over $20 Canadian for only 25 points, they can be a very expensive addition to your army. Furthermore, they're made of resin, and resin tends to be very brittle and a bit more expensive. So, here is a relatively cheap conversion that you can use to create some Necrons for your army. Now, I'm not a very good conversion artist. I think they look okay in the end. This tutorial is just to give you some ideas of how to convert up some easy cryptex that actually look pretty nice for a decent price. So here is what you'll need to convert them up. So first you will need a Lich Guard Praetorian Kit from Games Workshop. These kits run for roughly about $40, so twice the price of a normal Cryptek. However, you get five bodies for the price of two, so it ends up being much cheaper. Furthermore, they're made of plastic. The second ingredient you'll need are the heads from the Deathmark kits. Now, most Necron players already have these heads lying around since they come in the same kit as the Immortals, and the Immortals tend to be much more competitive than Deathmarks. However, if you don't have any of these heads, they can be obtained very easily through trading bit sites or through eBay from bit sellers for a very, very low price. And finally, you will need green stuff. I will use both liquid green stuff as well as the green stuff putty. However, you can definitely get away with just using the green stuff putty for this conversion tutorial. So first, remove all of the applicable pieces from their sprues. Now here's what you're going to need. From the Lich Guard kit, you're going to need basically the legs, the body, the heads, and the arms, as well as the staff arm. From the Praetorian kit, you're going to need the staff heads from the Lich Guard, as well as their tails. Obviously the next step is just to clean up the pieces and make sure they're all nice and clean and glue the legs to their bases. I started on the heads by removing the deathmark head from the sprue piece. Then with a pair of hobby cutters, I very cleanly removed the front of the lich guard head, all the way up basically to the crown. After removing the front of the head, I just quickly cleaned up the area to make sure it's nice and flat using a hobby knife. Then I repeated this process on the deathmark head, however I removed the back of the head instead of the front. So basically I removed all of the area up to the visor part of his face. And then I just glued these pieces together using plastic glue. They fit really nicely together since I cleaned up both ends. You'll notice that the combined head is a little bit longer than the normal head, but that's good since we're trying to extend the head forward. Now, as Lich Guard and Praetorian stand up very straight, but Cryptex tend to lean over, what I did was I removed the top of the spine and the top of his leg pads, and then filled the torso with green stuff, and then using this I was able to hunch the back over to make it look like an older warrior. Then I glued the head to the body and just made sure that it protruded a little bit forward and was facing straight as now the body is hunched over. Using liquid green stuff, I filled in the gaps on the forehead. As I mentioned earlier, if you don't have liquid green stuff, normal putty would do just as fine. Just remember to sand it down after using it. And here's what it looked like when the green stuff was drying. So basically now the gap is filled in and it would not show when painting over it. Using a hobby knife, I removed the orb from one of the Lich Guard staffs. Remember, this only applies to the one-handed variant, not the two-handed ones. And then I glued the orb into the hand. 
I used a ball of green stuff at the base of the spine to simulate a an orb, which will also act as a connector piece to connect the spine to the tail from the Praetorian kit. However, it is possible to connect the tail to the spine without the orb. I just wanted to see what it would look like with the orb, and I think it turned out nice. If you don't like the look, just remove the orb from the equation. For the staff head, I used the ones from the Praetorian kit rather than the Lich Guard, since these ones actually look very, very close to the Cryptek staff heads. As you can see, he's actually starting to look a little bit like a Cryptek. Minus the beard. So after gluing in the arm with the orb, as well as shortening the spine, here's what the finished product looked like. Overall, I have to say that it actually turned out pretty well and looks pretty much like a Cryptek. I know it's missing the beard. If you really want to add the beard to it, just use green stuff as I've used in the past. Also, you could use green stuff to extend the armor downwards. I was going to do that. I just felt that I liked the overall appearance the way it is. And uh, yeah, I think it turned out really nicely. Plus, the result is a relatively cheap Cryptek. If you use all five models from the box, it will end up being about 38 to 40% of the cost of a normal Cryptek, which is pretty nice. Plus, the resulting model is made of plastic and is therefore not as brittle and will not melt as easily as the Cryptek's that are made of resin. Just remember that this was the one-handed variant for the staff and that the other ones will be two-hand variants, so that they won't have a hand with the orb, but they still will turn out looking pretty nicely. Hey everyone, my name is Jay and I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like the video, comment on the video if you want, and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. It really helps a lot. If you want to check out my channel, please click on the link right up here. And if you want to check out my previous tutorial, click on the video right here. And finally, if you want to check out my new commission miniature painting service, please click on the link right here. So thank you very much for watching this once again. Until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting everyone.